Hey y'all, Sarah here with Cooking with the First Ladies, and this time I will be talking about Lucy Webb Hayes, who was born on August 28th, 1831, and share some recipes that not only celebrate National Lemonade Day, but also her connection to the nickname Lemonade Lucy. Uh, Lucy Webb Hayes is credited with making one of the most dramatic changes in the entertaining at the White House. Uh, she banned alcohol from the building. Uh, but actually, it's one of the most kind of twisted versions of a first lady um, in historical significance. And although much has been lost over time, her letters and accounts from family and friends at the time paint her in a very different light. Um, however, this is not what she should be known for. In fact, although she was an avid advocate for the temperance movement, it was actually Rutherford who ultimately made the decision to ban the alcohol, recognizing how important it was to his political party. Uh, but because of history, however, she has been put as a celebrity within the temperance movement. Lucy's support of the temperance movement actually made a lot of sense as it really reflected and supported her upbringing by her grandfather, uh, who shaped her views as a young girl by advocating for abstinence, uh, but also showed how women could be a positive moral example and role model for their families uh, during that time. And in fact, went so far uh, as to have her sign a contract that she would abstain from alcohol. Uh, in addition, women saw the temperance movement as an opportunity to gain more rights and to advance status and to become equal uh, because by campaigning against alcohol, uh, they were also making the point that they did not have to rely on a husband who was a drunk and uh, could be more responsible uh, in their family's property and finances, which at that time they basically had no rights or control to. Um, so among the temperance movements, Lucy Hayes' tea parties uh, became something of a fad. Uh, it's actually been said amongst some historians um, that if there hadn't been a temperance movement, uh, women's suffrage may have been delayed uh, by decades um, and probably would not have been as widely accepted uh, by so many so easily. Uh, Lucy was also the first first lady to have a college degree, which being a college educated woman and an active follower of temperance, she also began to set the example for what they referred to as the new woman. And from her position in the public eye, it was kind of a step toward more activism in the roles of the first ladies. Um, her father uh, was a huge advocate of education and she became an extremely educated woman uh, for mid 19th century America. Uh, she received her degree from Wesleyan Female College in Ohio at 18 years old. Um, so let's kick off National Lemonade Day with a few recipes. Um, so first up, we are gonna make a lemonade seltzer, uh, which we'll call for um, a uh, one and a fourth cups of seltzer water, two tablespoons of lemonade mix, and you have the option to put ice in this, uh, but once you have your mix, um, just stir until it's all dissolved. Add a little dollop of your lemon sherbet, and garnish with your lemon wedges, and even you could even do a little umbrella. So there's your lemonade seltzer. Uh, next, um, we're going to talk about how to make a simple syrup, which is needed for the next two recipes. Um, now I pre-made mine, uh, but to make it is equal parts sugar and water heated in a saucepan. Um, two cups of sugar and two cups of water make about enough for a dozen glasses of lemonade. Um, this can be stored in the fridge. Um, you can also uh, buy simple syrup that's pre-made at the store. Uh, so next, for old-fashioned lemonade, we are going to use a cup of the simple syrup, um, add a little lemon zest, and the lemon wedges, which I already did. And then you are gonna combine this with two cups fresh lemon juice, um, which if it's fresh squeezed, um, that's about 12 lemons. Um, and then you're going to also add three cups of water. Stir, chill, and serve on ice. Simple as that. Um, next up, we are going to make my personal favorite, a lemon shake up. So you're going to use um, half a cup of your simple syrup, the juice of a lemon, a cup of water, 
and three fourths cup ice. Uh, then you're just gonna mix all these ingredients. You're gonna add the ice last and then shake. Add your lemon slices, then the most fun part is the shake. Um, this is so easy to do. Um, you can put all of your ingredients in a mason jar and just add the water um, and the ice later. Uh, so, the nickname Lemonade Lucy, though, cannot be specifically dated to the Haynes administration, although uh, there were stories about her serving lemonade that was a little reddish in color, and this really made her fearful um, that she was serving a wine, or that people would think that she was, um, and so the president kind of calmed her fears um, that it was only a mashed berry in the lemonade. Um, James Garfield uh, joked uh, that the water flowed like wine at the White House during that time. Uh, there were also caricatures of her uh, that were put on bottles showing her as smiling in water but frowning in alcohol. Now for one last recipe uh, for the lemonade um, is a lemonade pie. Um, this calls for a 15-ounce lemon cake or a lemon bar mix. Um, I use the lemon bars. Uh, one cup frozen lemonade. Uh, concentrate, and you're gonna have that thawed, uh, and a cup of powdered sugar. Uh, preheat your oven to 350, mix your cake or your bars, and bake as directed. Um, once it comes out, you're gonna wanna cool it. Um, meanwhile, whisk together a cup of lemonade concentrate and a cup of powdered sugar, poke some holes, pour it over the cake. Put it in the refrigerator, make sure it gets really cool. Um, and then for the frosting, you're gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese, uh, half a cup softened butter, uh, three and a half cups powdered sugar, three tablespoons of the frozen thawed lemonade concentrate, and just a little bit of salt. So beat your cream cheese and butter together, uh, then add powdered sugar and lemonade concentrate and the salt. Spread over the cake and enjoy. Now you can decorate however you would like, um, but you can also decorate with little lemon wedges. Um, so uh, while we decorate, just a little bit more about Lucy Hayes. Uh, Lucy married Rutherford in 1852 at the age of 21, uh, but they actually first met when she was only 14 years old. Uh, Lucy encouraged her husband to join the Union Army in the Civil War, uh, but was upset that women weren't able to. Um, she also went as far as to say that if women had been at Fort Sumter, they would not have surrendered. Uh, when Rutherford was wounded, uh, she eventually found his location and went to um, assist with the wounded. Um, also during the Civil War, uh, she endured a lot of hardships, including the loss of two sons, um, as well as the deaths of her mother and her mother-in-law. Um, she also took care of two wounded soldiers who ultimately passed away. Uh, she helped in the hospitals, sewed, cooked, and cared for the soldiers, uh, which earned her the nickname Mother of the Regiment. Uh, she said, it is a hard thing to be a woman and witness so much and yet not do a thing. Um, so here's our lemon pie. Uh, now, when her husband was elected, a lot of controversy surrounded the election, and because of all that danger, um, she dressed in all black, which along with her black hair was very striking, and that's how she attended the inauguration ceremony. Um, her appearance generated a great amount of press, perhaps more newspaper coverage about a new president um, than at any other previous inauguration at that time. Uh, she also played an active role in her husband's administration and lobbied the state legislature to provide more funding to schools, orphanages, and insane asylums. Uh, Lucy also made one of the first trips for a sitting president and first lady to the West Coast in 1880, uh, visiting Utah, Washington, California, and New Mexico on what was a 72-day journey by train and then horse-drawn wagons because some of the railroads were not complete at that time. Um, along the routes, uh, they did encounter dangerous territory, including um, Apache Native Americans, as well as outlaw cowboys. Uh, during this trip, uh, she went down into silver mines as well as visited Yosemite. Uh, Lucy was not into radical reform, but she did accompany the president uh, to prisons, schools, hospitals for the mental ill, and advocated for the health and education, um, even for mental health um, individuals as well, all which pushed towards kind of shaping the social and political activism we see in the First Ladies today. Uh, even though she attended a lecture by suffragist Lucy Stone, she never fully supported the women's suffrage movement, especially after her sister's death, and focused more on the household, 
um, and advocating for abolition. However, she did say, quote, instead of being considered the slave of a man, she is considered his equal in all things, superior in some. Uh, she also 100% supported the abolitionist movement and traveled to the South to not only listen to the opposition, uh, but to politely express her viewpoints on the issues of slavery. Mrs. Hayes also became the first presidential wife to have her portrait painted for the White House collection. Um, and she, as well as Rutherford, started the project of hanging portraits of every past president in the White House and commissioned uh, several in order to fill in some of the gaps. Uh, now I'm also going to make uh, one of Lucy Hayes's more personal dishes. Uh, one of her recipes was for green corn fritters. Uh, the recipe is courtesy of the Rutherford B. Hayes Library and Museum, and the recipe goes as follows. Uh, grate the corn and allow an egg and a half for every cupful with a tablespoon of milk or cream. Uh, beat the eggs really well, um, and then it said add the corn by degrees, beating very hard, uh, salts to taste. Um, also add a little pepper. Now put a tablespoon of melted butter to every pint of corn. Stir in the milk and thicken with just enough flour to hold them together. It says a, tea, a tablespoonful, excuse me, for every two eggs. Um, you can fry in hot lard as you would fritters, uh, but a kind of better plan is to cook upon a griddle, like batter cakes. Test the little first to see that it's the right consistency. And these can be, as it said in the recipe, eaten at dinner or breakfast. Uh, these will always meet with cordial welcome. Uh, mine took a lot more than one tablespoon uh, per egg. Uh, I used two cups of corn, equal three eggs. Um, so trial and error just until it's thick enough to hold up. Um, these could actually also be baked. So these are Lucy Hayes' green corn fritters. Uh, now Lucy Hayes uh, was also an animal lover, especially birds. Uh, she knew many bird calls and the last known picture taken of her was uh, feeding a flock of birds on uh, the lawn of her home. Uh, at the end of the Hayes' term in office, a minister declared that the White House was, quote, pure because Mrs. Hayes had been its mistress. Uh, she passed away four years before her husband and not long before his death, he referred to their marriage as, in his words, the most interesting fact of his life and once wrote, my life with you has been so happy, so successful, and so beyond reasonable anticipations that I think of you with loving gratitude that I do not know how to express. So that's lovely. Um, Lucy should be remembered, again, more for her charity work, abolitionist views, views and for her amazing personality, uh, rather than just her temperance policies and the nickname Lemonade Lucy. Um, as she was such a popular first lady, uh, she was also the first to be exploited by various ads, thinking that her influence would uh, get shoppers to buy certain products, um, such as one that was for an iron. Um, so I hope that you will uh, try some lemonade recipes on National Lemonade Day. Um, and happy birthday to Lucy Hayes, um, who was an, yet another fascinating first lady. Um, so thanks y'all so much for joining and I'll see you next time.